point guard action i've been starting to get a little loose on the point guard a little wickedly wackily you've seen the title you've seen the thummy you've seen it all man. Listen, if you're new to the channel be sure to like and subscribe be sure to do all the good stuff tell your friends about the channel you know we're, we're steady growing we've been on a good little uh push lately pushing out some videos appreciate y'all for showing love keep doing that um but yeah let's check this out you know like i said man you uh, I've been working. I've been working on this uh, point guard stuff a little bit. Playing the game, man. Just like I don't know, just playing this game more and more. Like so this game, this year's game is a lot of fun to me. Like people, if you get stuck in the negativity of things and you look on Twitter and you see people always bashing the game, look. It's rare that you get a game like this. 2K. Like I said, you can talk. I've said it in other videos. You got the flaws and all that. But man, the fact that you can shoot fadeaway threes, fadeaway midi, step back, spin jumpers. Oh, look at this. Ah. Trying to get a little loose early here. Trying this new Devin Booker dribble, dribble style. A little back cut. A little back cut pass for me. Um, Yeah, I'm trying this Devin Booker dribble style. That's pretty cool. Um, This player I have, his uh, speed with ball and stuff isn't that high. And Oh, quick stop. Been working on that. Just figured that out a couple days ago. I didn't realize it was the same quick stop as it's been for the last couple of years. I've been kind of BSing. Um, but yeah, man, I've been trying to Devin Booker out because my, my speed with ball and stuff, like, I, I can't get Kyrie and stuff like that. Like, I don't have my dribbling crazy high. I put a lot of defense on my build and a decent amount of passing, playmaking, stuff like our other stuff, defense. Yeah. Whatever. Don't mind me. Um... But yeah, on this build, I get a little, I've been figuring it out. Look at that little Devin Booker push cross. I'm just hitting the back cut nice and easy. Hitting a three early. You saw, if you ain't watched the how to play point guard video, go check that out, man. It'll be in the, it'll be the link in the description. Um, you know, I get a bucket early, look to facilitate. You gotta mix it up, you gotta do your thing. Um, man, it's really, the more I play this game, like, like I said, I was saying before, like, it's just, like, you can do everything. And the thing that I hope they never change, that I hope stays prevalent, is the floaters. Look at that spin jumper. Ooh, got a late. Um, I, the thing I hope stays prevalent is the floaters and stuff like that. The floaters, the Euro steps. Oh, basically just the floaters. Like the floaters are so important. Like you, you can think of how many years the floaters have been bad. Like having floaters that are actually good. And they're not even like, like they're good. They're OP to a sense, but you can defend them. And like it's it's just a cool thing, man. I enjoy the floaters and stuff like that. It just brings a whole new dynamic to the game. This game's just there's a lot of layers to this game. Nice little layup by me. Lay me. There's a lot of good layers to this game, to be honest. Like, there's not a lot of two Ks where you can look and just be like, I mean, most two Ks play uh, have a certain style of play and they're geared towards one style of play for the most part. This year, it's very balanced to me. I mean, obviously the plucks and stuff are OP, and it's not that hard to play defense for real, for real. But I mean, nice block, holy. Man. Um, nice little no look pass, not done, no good. Um, but just all the things like you can do so many things on this game. Like the fact you can have a different type of bag. Look at that, that little spin jumper. Oop, knocked down. Like you can really have a good bag in this game. You can really get to it. And that's that's what I like out of 2K. Like I don't like to nitpick and get into things. I mean, a game is a game, and they and they want to change it and have variety every year, and be able to change it so we can pay and spend hundreds of dollars on new builds and stuff. You know, um, but yeah, no, I love the variety of offense in this game. You know, the driving, the dunking, the euro step, the finishing, the layups, but you can still block shots. You can still defend. You can you got the stick dunking this year, which is really aggressively well. Like honestly, like there was two K. I mean, I enjoy playing this two K. Like I enjoy playing it a lot. And I think I think the thing that makes um ooh, that's a good reach by me, and I'm just gonna tear it off. I'm give me that. I think the thing more so that makes the games not enjoyable for people when they're not having fun is just nice dunk pass, nice dunk, big man dunk. Is honestly the players that make it less enjoyable. Like the toxicity that some players can play with, the spammy, cheesy stuff. Like obviously that's a part of the game. That's how you play. 
But honestly, that meta and that way we set and the fact that everybody's getting so good at these games, um, that everybody's getting so good at video games in general, 2K, Fortnite, all that, like everything, man. Every game, not everybody's getting so much better at that if we went back to the bare bones simplified 2Ks of 16 and 17 and all these spammy stuff, the games just aren't as enjoyable because we're so able to manipulate things. Like I'm telling you, like, you remember playing street hoops growing up? I mean, NBA Street, uh, NFL Street, and stuff like that. Like, you go play those games now, it's so much easier to cheese and manipulate because, I don't know, gamers are just so much smarter nowadays. Like, we've really evolved and, like, put ourselves in the spot where we're trying to do whatever it takes to win. Like, I was playing street hoops with my buddy, like, not NBA Street, but street hoops, and, like, you just run to the paint and dunk every play. Even NBA Street, you just run to the hoop and dunk every play. Like, if you want to win, you can just cheese, like... So it's really the players that have put video games kind of in this spot, to be honest with you. Like, just the way, like, we're in this new era of look at that, trying that Devin Booker push cross. Bang, bang. Um, but yeah, it's like, we're, we've become so evolved in this new era of gaming that, like, like, I think 10 years ago, people were just learning how to play all these games competitively and figuring out how to win and stuff like that. And all oh, quick stop. Hello, I'm figuring it out, man. I'm figuring it out. But yeah, it's like, you, like now, now, like it's just ten years later. Now we're in the 2020s. Like people have figured out how to compete and win in games at a very like diabolical, spammy, advantageous, uh, glitchy sort of way. Like you throw a lot of words out there. Like people just like, like we're we're everybody's trying to win now. Like everybody's trying to. Get to, get to what we're getting to, like, I mean, think about when Fortnite first came out, like, just stuff like that, like, people were learning things, and then when it came to get, when the game gets competitive and there's money to be made, you know, people start going ham. Nice pull up there. You see me right now, 11 points for us this early, got a couple steals, I think. Um... But see, at the end of the day, man, like I said, I, I really enjoy this game, like, we can get frustrated at the game and stuff like that, but I'm telling you, if you really look at it and look at all the new mechanics and all the things in the game and the jump shots and the layups and the dunks and, and just so many things with the game that, like, is it's enjoyable, man. It really is. The only thing that makes it less enjoyable is the players that can make it less enjoyable in the community of negative minds that just crap on everything that happens. Like, man, like, I'm a, I'm a small-time video maker right now that just plays the game. I used to play competitively where we're breaking the game every year. Like, in, in that community of competitiveness in Pro-Am where tens of thousands of dollars are won every year, um, people, I mean, it's just all about breaking the game and manipulating the game to the, like, the just, just becoming that tenth of a percent in the percentile of a player nice pass nice little fade by me that like it just you just break the game essentially and that's not enjoyable and i see why people hate all the time and then they're like oh the game is trash like i mean we're basically breaking the game i mean we're when you play like a simulated bat i mean when we're playing and we're out here just having fun you're just hooping man it's a fun game when you get too deep in and you're thinking about all these things man like Telling you, just enjoy the game, have fun, man. When you're playing with your friends and stuff like that, like you're having fun. That's what it's about. You can't sit here and manip uh uh manipulate. I was gonna say uh get all just like getting all meticulous, picking apart the game, like it's just unnecessary, man. We get on the game, let's have fun. Like we're not we're not game reviewers, we're not here to just pick apart the game. Like I'm having a good time, man. Look at that pass. Daddy, give me the three, give me the three. It's like, just have a good time, fellas. Like, you see me right now. I'm getting better and better on the guard. I Like I was saying a month ago, or three weeks ago, I guess. Um, Like, basically, I was terrified to basically be on guard because I couldn't shoot at all, and I just couldn't move very well and all that type of stuff. Now I'm getting slight, slightly better, man. I'm telling you what, like, playing this stuff, man, it gets, you, it gets your competitive juices flowing, though, and you kind of want to get back in the... Especially someone like me that's played the game at the highest level and played against 2K League talent and all that stuff and 
and won and won prize pots and stuff like that and beating the best like it's it's something man kind of get that kind of get that itch to go again i could have played in the the 3v3 coin base stuff for the 2k league coming up i got asked to play but i just like i don't know i just wasn't interested i'm doing this doing other stuff i don't know that's like i just feel like when you get too deep into stuff like that and you get too committed to being just a competitor like you can lose the love for the game that's what happens sometimes um man what a snatch block here we go here we go hit me uh, uh, uh. Looking for an open, looking for, just running around, open three, bang, bang. I mean, we're putting the beats on him right now. I'm shooting 100% from the field still, 15.7 assists, something light. Let's see, let me see if I pull up this box score here. 15.7 assists, four steals, no turnovers, no missed shots. I mean, it's just pure domination out here. I'm out here having a good time. Whoa! Threw the ball in my face! We got we got MIB Agent J with 19. He's knocking his shots down. I mean, we come out here and put the pressure on him. It's just no problem at all. Good defense. Good defense. Throw it out. Throw it out. Throw it out. Here we go. Pull up. Bang, bang. Nice and easy, man. Get that shot in your game, everybody. If you're watching and you're on a guard, even on forwards, that little shot right there, it's very easy to time, a lot easier than you think. Just get it down. Start shooting him a little bit. Get that timing down. Get used to it. Because that shot saves you so much time. Like, if you're in situations where you got to stop, set your feet, people are going to run up behind you and contest. That shot right there is very simple. It's the same timing as a normal jump shot, basically. Just a different feel to it. Ooh, nice little move there, but he's going to miss it. It's like... Okay, defense. Oh, I didn't get the steal. Bang, bang. Realistically, man, just coming out on the rack, playing, and joining the new season. What, what do y'all think of the new season? What do y'all think about these Devin Booker animations? Any of y'all been getting dabbling? Ooh, three by, three by, miss nine, miss nine, miss. We're trying to get tacos for the fans. Fifty points. Not even halftime. Yeah, man. I mean, oh yeah, bringing that pressure to blitzies, throwing it down the floor, advancing the rock on the break, and oh, way to stay with it and get a layup though. Hey, man. I'm trying to think of what we can get into. Like, you know, I'm trying to get a couple people, maybe play some ranked pro-am, get some runs in. Maybe we can get some streams going and get get some of the... Get some of the people involved. Some of the viewers. Um, we could probably do that at some point. Look at me sizing up. Getting a little, getting a little freaky deaky. Missed the center down the middle. But yeah, I kind of want to play ranked pro-am at least and grind a court or something. Just kind of get something going. Um, but like, hey, we're, listen, be sure to check out the memberships, okay? Be sure to check out the memberships. That's how you get on the court with me. We play some games, do some 2K lessons, let you know, maybe tell you some stories about me and the, the war stories of the few 2Ks ago when I was running it up, playing some events in person, stuff like that. Man, playing 2K in person, man. Ooh, that's fun. 21.7 assists, five steals. Five steals. Uh, do not have a missed shot yet. We're definitely doing 85% from the field, 73% from three-point range, 15 assists. I mean, we're, we're sharing the rock. We're doing good stuff. But yeah, man, playing 2K in person, that was fun too. The little LAN events in person. Every LAN, I'll say, fun fact, I played at, well, I would say, was it with my team? I played, at, I played in Vegas, UPA. I literally got team takeover twice in the same game and they quit the game i was like doing vicious stuff to them like how, how do you show up in person and get team takeover put on you multiple times um then we played in dallas in the tournament it was the final four teams of the tournament got to play in dallas went there uh, we lost to the best team in the first game and then we had the third place game or we lost to the best team in the series and then we had the third place series for money uh, I think it was like five hundred dollars ahead or something like that. Maybe like three fifty ahead. So, nothing crazy to win third place. But we went out there game three. It was the best of three. Game three, I go out there get team takeover, do it big for us, and man, I was hooping. I was hooping. A lot of power forward vibes, you know. I get busy on the power forward. I block shots. It's all about timing. Oh yeah, but just that vibe of being being out there with a bunch of just a bunch of good people playing the game. People that all have the same 
Oh, they they all just enjoy playing the game and competing. Like it's just a fun time, man. The atmosphere is cool. Like obviously, if you watch like Rainbow Six over this weekend, man, and you seen you seen like they had a stadium sold out in Brazil. They're playing the game competitively. Like esports, really crazy. Two K's not at that level, of course, not yet. Hopefully, maybe someday I guess they look at that free bucky. Let me get it. Um, but just being there when there's like, I mean, we when we were playing, I mean, there's a few hundred people there. Nothing like the stadium where you got probably four thirty, thirty thousand people, something like that, upwards more. Like, I don't know. free live, get it. Got twenty four points, eight assists, hundred percent. Still ain't missed a shot. Still carrying. Still doing my thing. Me and Agent J getting busy. Uh, 61, 22, 24 points, 8 assists, 5 steals, 9 for 9, 6 for 6, no turnovers. Always notice, man, when I play point guard, I do not turn the ball over. It's very rare. I usually like to take care of the ball. I don't give locks the opportunity to pluck me and stuff like that. I just put myself in advantageous positions where they're chasing and they don't size up and get my shoulders square to them where they can't take advantage of that. I mean, you see a full-fledged blowout going on right now. Some light. Oh yeah. Let me know in the comments, man. I don't know if y'all watch uh y'all watch any Joe Knows uh That's been kinda of fun to watch is uh Joe Knows, you know the y'all probably some of the viewers in here probably watch some of his videos. I mean he uh makes YouTube videos, all that stuff, makes good content. And then he uh he came to Pro Am this year. And man. He just won the WR finals. Obviously none of the league talents here, but there's still some good players, obviously. I mean he beat uh, chalk he beat some good good talent elite steals he beat good players great very good pro am players that have won that have won big series before and he just comes from youtube comes over gets them reps in for the last few months and he wins a wr like i've never wr is the biggest thing now it's kind of like now the pro am scene's oversaturated with tournament stuff so it's like you don't even know what tournament matters but WR has always been MPB and WR has always been the biggest thing. So him winning WR is cool. Um, I never won a WR. I lost WR finals for like in the pot was like twenty five grand, twenty grand. We got swept. We were playing. That was the year they had the uh, glitch builds where you could have ninety nine tendencies. Nobody on my team had ninety nine tendos. We played a team that had ninety nine tendos and they were getting vicious on us. We lost a lot of close games, but. Yeah, man, we've had some good series. I've won. I've won other leagues though, affiliated with that. Um, yeah, it's been cool, man. Definitely like just watching pro and watching threes and watching all this stuff going on. It's like it's cool, man. And I'm telling you, if any of y'all want to get into pro am, man, just you know, go on Twitter, check out WR Pro Am League. Uh, they have uh, not even you don't have to play in just WR, but you can check out. That'll link you to all the chats and stuff like that. Check. I've been hearing about this SEBA league people have been playing in where it's like a progression league. You start in high school, you go to college, all that stuff. That seems like a thing that possibly could be up and coming. I'm not sure who runs it. I can't give you a full stamp of approval. But, yeah, if any of y'all watch these videos and you're like, man, I'd like to compete and play some Pro-Am. It sounds fun. You've seen some of the videos of Pro-Am I posted um, in the past. Uh, yeah, you just got to get in. You just got to get on Twitter. You got to hit people up. Uh, check out WR, check out, they got these uh, smaller leagues, WR Select, SL2K. You know, they got these leagues where uh, you're not just going into the fire right away. You get into some of these discords where people are playing. Like I said, if you can just find the right group of people, it's a fun time to play. That's all it's about. You know, sometimes you can get in there and it's a lot of toxic people. Like I said, that's the thing that ruins the game for a lot of people. If it can be... Nice pull up there. Nice pull up. Agent J, 37 points. Man, he's going crazy. 15 to 16 right now. But yeah, I mean, if any y'all, if any y'all are interested in pro am or stuff like that, or want tips or advice on what's going on in the scene, you know, basically what to stay up with, um, you know, just to, just advice on how to carry yourself, play the game. You know, like I said, I've been in the 2K League draft pool a lot. Over the years, probably four, four or five times, never been drafted, interviewed with basically every team in the league multiple times. Um, got a lot of good connections and stuff like that. 
Um, so I got good experience on the game. You know, if y'all ever need advice or anything like that, playing 2K with like playing Pro M or anything like that, let me know. Check out my Twitter at Pariah2K. My DMs are always open. Y'all got questions about playing rack animations, any stuff like that, man. Feel free to DM me. Check out the Twitter. Uh, it'll. The Twitter is in the description of what, if you forget what it is, but it should be the same name as my YouTube. Just type Pariah 2 k in on Twitter, you'll find me. Um, yeah, it's been kind of interesting time in the last couple of years. I haven't really played Pro-Am that much the last year or two. I still watch it and keep up with it and talk to people in Pro-Am. But, yeah, I haven't played Pro-Am definitely not as much. I've only dabbled, like, like I played, like, an overnight and then won one of those, and then just never played again. Like I'll, I'll get an overnight every once in a while, just to, just to, just to kind of wet the gears a little bit, grease the gears. Yeah, man. Like, shoot. Twenty-seven points, thirteen assists. I'm hoping. What do you do in these situations, man? When you run into this just epic flooding like this, like the whole team's still in here. Knockdown, you know I hit those. 30 points, 13 assists, no missed shots. 11-11, 8 for 8. Man, I'm telling you, if y'all are struggling, I would say it's more so so it's more so a big deal with this Patty Mills release when you get to that starter 2. Or no, is it started 3? I think it's started 3. When you get to that starter 3 and you unlock that Patty Mills on your guard, like... If, you, if you're having trouble shooting on it and you're shooting on, like, a uh, set point or push at all, and you're having trouble, potentially try release out, man. Release on Patty Mills is, is really nice because it's a really fast release. But it's like a must-use thing. If you're a guard and you unlock that release, it's absolutely like you have got to figure out how to shoot with it. You cannot just shoot with Curry and stuff like that. I'm telling you, this this jump shot just gives you too much of an advantage over the defense. Like It just creates so much less of a contest. You're able to green contested shots more. It's just a phenomenal shot. Look at him getting loose with it. Ooh, no good. Oh, 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 oh. Man, I'm just... Y'all got me here just commentating this video, really. I'm just, just talking nonsense. Look at that dunk. One hand. Hey, Kirk Hyder can dunk. Just thinking about pro -Am, man. Really just thinking about pro -Am. Who knows, man? Maybe we get some... Uh, we get a group together that wants to play. I tried to actually get a group of people together. Had a couple of my former 2K League buddies that could have got together and played some Prime, but uh, kind of tough at this point, man. Like I said, all the leagues are so the Prime scene is so oversaturated with leagues and people running overnights and middays and all these things. People just kind of don't want to play anymore. You don't even know what you're playing for. Everybody's just playing for a little, like a small little hundred dollar payday, like. It's like, I don't know, people are just playing. You don't know what, like, you don't know what matters. It's just like, I just remember, like, I'm going to hit you with the old head back in my day. I just remember a few 2Ks ago. I mean, overnights probably started two 2Ks ago. And I would say it's really gotten over the top the past year or so. But like, two, three 2Ks ago, man, it was a couple leagues. It was a couple leagues, and you knew which league. You're like, okay, we're signing up for this. WR signups are out now. We're signing up. We're playing in the preseason open tournament, and this is the league that matters. You're actually playing reg season games. You're trying to get better. You're actually like, you're actually that's what you're trying to win. That's like the that's like the gold standard of what you're trying to do. But now everybody's like, it's crazy that it's become so overnight predominant. Some of y'all in here watching the rec content, you're like, what is this guy talking about, man? <laughs> what is this guy talking about? I don't care about no damn pro. I don't care about the rec. I'm telling you, man, check out some pro-am games, man. Because there's some, there's some cool people that come from pro-am. I'm just here to spread the wealth, you know, spread the knowledge. We got 32 and 15, 12 for 12, still ain't missed. Men in Black Agent J almost got 50 of them things. Um... Yeah, man. Yo, I'm just reminiscing right now. I could just put that as the title right now. I just say reminiscing. That's what's really going down. I have a good time. Play just have, I just have a good time playing pro -Am, man. Like that. You don't get that vibe no more. It's like, if any of y'all play pro -Am, like I said, a few years ago, it's like, you had your team. You played with your team. 
and team people didn't switch teams that crazy. Now it's like it's like it's like college sports right now with the with the portals and stuff like that. Like everybody plays with everybody because everybody's trying to get into the 2K league, and that's kind of where like prime kind of died off at. Is like everybody wants to be a professional, so everybody's trying to play with all the professional players, and nobody's trying to make their own names. That's why you see guys like uh, if you watch prime at all this year, there was a group uh, there was a a team called the Spicy Boys in Pro-Am. And they came up off their own names. They played with each other. And uh, basically the big three on that team all got picked. And they just came up from just playing with each other. And that's the that's the stuff you used to see a lot a few years ago. Now you got Joe Knows in them. You see that. If any of them guys feel like going for the 2K League, they'll have an opportunity if they keep playing together. And yeah, that's the type of stuff you like to see. It's just teams playing together. You get on, play the game. You get five five guys, five people, I'll say, that all just play the game. You're just having a good time. Not everybody's playing with everybody. You're not building that. You're not building chemistry and stuff like that. I'm telling you, man, building that chemistry with a team and cooking. Ooh, y'all got plays. Y'all got all. Not every team runs the same two plays. Every team runs the same two rotations. Everybody does the same thing, so you can just play with everybody. It's all the same, like, all recycled. Look at this. What in the world? Why am I wide open? They're they're triple teaming, quadruple teaming, Mr. Age and J because he's about to get fifty. They don't want him to get fifty. I don't want. Why don't they want him to get fifty? They weren't guarding him the whole game. Now they don't want him to get fifty. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Thirty-eight and sixteen with six steals, no turnovers, no misses. Come on, man. Y'all been seeing me. This Patty Mills jumper. If y'all, if any of y'all have played the game enough and you're getting close to that started three, man, I'm telling you, that started three is worth it. Go play some starting five if you... Oh, yeah. Let me knock down this midi. Ah. Go play some starting five. That's a great way to grind rep. Um, It can kind of... It can kind of get tireless. It can kind of get annoying to play. So, like, you know, play it in... Uh, play it in spurts and stuff like that. Don't over overwork yourself with uh, grinding just one mode. But it's a great way to grind rep. Play the double rep stuff. Get to that starter three, man. That starter three, you're like a lot of fun animations. A lot of good animations. Layup packages, dunk packages, celebrations, everything, man. They got... I don't know if I like that. That's probably the one thing about 2K I don't like this year, necessarily. Oh, I got him. He got 50. He got 50. I didn't shoot the ball because I was trying to get my man 50. I'm really... I was really force-feeding trying to get him 50 on the last few possessions. And look at it. 17 assists, no turnovers, 40 points, 6 steals, 15 for 15, 10 for 10. MIB agent J, my man, 21 to 25, 9 to 11 from 3. And shout out to my power four for just being a trooper, man. You know, at the end of the day, me and my man Jovan shot 36 for 40? 36 for 40. Like, you can't complain with that. Like, we're just hitting open shots. 36 for 40? You can't complain about that, baby. You can't. You just got to enjoy the show. That's all you can do. Listen, man, if y'all are new to the channel, check it out. Check out the subscriptions. Check out my Twitter. Check out the Twitch. Leave a follow. All the good. All the good. Yeah, man, I appreciate y'all coming by. This was just like a full reminiscent with a whole B-roll of just not missing shots compilation. Uh, be sure to follow the channel, man. Comment in the comment section. Feel free to DM me on Twitter if you got any questions about anything you're doing with 2K. Um, yeah, just show love, man. I'm going to be checking out the memberships. Let me know if some of y'all get involved with the memberships, man. We'll play some rec. Do some 2K stuff. Chop it up. You know, let's, let's just chill, baby. Let's do our thing. Word. See y'all in the next one.